Hi, everyone. So I'm going to show you um, a project we've um, actually open sourced this summer, and which is very nice, I think. So it's a neural coherence system for conversational agents. So what is coherence resolution? I explain a little bit. So this is a dialogue for uh, from our app. Actually, that's one that's one dialogue from last week. I took random. So here a bot is saying, uh, "My dad's yelling at me again." The user says, "You don't have one." Yes, I do. What's his name? My father's name is a secret. You don't have one. See, I was right. You're right. I don't. So here, what's the problem for a chatbot or a conversational agent? Is because there is one entity, the father, that is always referred by a different word. So first it's dad, then one, then his, father, one. And you have to know, if you want to have a smart chatbot, you have to know that this is actually the same entity, real world entity that we're talking about. So it looks easy for us humans. We're really good at doing that. Chatbots are, are really bad at doing that. They forget every sentence. So on the previous one, that was quite easy. But here you can see there is at least five real world entities. So the user is talking about his sister. My sister has a friend called John. The bot say, really? Tell me more about him. And then the user says, she thinks he's so funny. And there is my, which refers to the user. My sister, that's the sister of the user, etc. So there is this five entity, and you have to know which one is which one if you want to be smart. So that's called coherence resolution. And this is what our system is doing. So this is an example output. Our system see that the first my sister is the same entity than the she in the last utterance. And uh, yeah, we have a demo. You can try it. How does it work? Um, we extract series of mention that potentially refer to real world entities. So there's two main ways you can do that. Rule based, you get a parse tree saying that this is the subject, the verb, everything is linked. That's, here it's a dependency parse tree. And then you try to see, yeah, this looks like a noun or some kind of real world entity. So this is rule based. And it works actually quite well. We have 90 percent recall. So that's what we use. It's quite flexible. And you can also do it in a neural network base, which is also nice, but then you uh, it's a little more difficult to evolve or to modify it quickly. Once you have your series of mentions, you extract a set of features, which are more word embeddings. People talk about that. So these are vectors representing the, the words. Also, little additional feature, the distance between the mention. Few Boolean features. Is it the same speaker talking again? Then he might be referring the same way. You say, my father. But the other one will say, your father. So you have to take, a, take account um, of this thing. And then we put these this, um, features into neural networks, feed forward neural networks. And this is all trained with maximum likelihood. Well, actually, it's pre-trained with maximum likelihood, but that's really huge because um, you have n square possibility to connect all the possible pairs. So it's trained in a non-probabilistic way. You use like risk squared, max margin, or risk give. And um, yeah, I'll just show you a little bit. So what happens when you train this model? So these are the word vectors for a few entities in the real world, like dad, mom, mother, sister. And uh, on the left, this is the uh, usual word embeddings. This is our pre-trained word to fake. And after the training, you see that one of the main axes, so this is PCA decomposition, so you're projecting the word vectors on the main variance axis. And uh, you see that the vectors are now greatly separated with the female thing on the left or the male thing on the right. And you also see that we train that on a kind of formal corpus, and our use is really like teenage conversation, so it's really informal. And um, it's actually not so good at informal thing, like mom. It's a little more uh, closer to the middle gender than woman, you know, because there's less training example. Less typical problem in NLP is that we have very beautiful corpus that are Wikipedia-based, but in real life, we don't talk like Wikipedia. And so we've open sourced it. So it's state of the art coherence solution. There's another one called uh, Stanford Core NLP, which is also nice, but it's Java based. So it's like a big monolithic Java block that you don't really want to have in your uh, high throughput distributed uh, production system. And um, we are the only one who makes use of speaker information in the dialogue. So you can go, download it, you can try it, and see that, it's, uh, that it works. Okay, thank you Thomas. Awesome. <laughs> Merci beaucoup.